Hey everyone, welcome back to Totally Unlikable. I've been getting a lot of questions from Pumpkin Panic fans asking how certain things work, so I wanted to answer all of your questions in one place. In this video I'll explain how every creature in the game works. If you find this helpful, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Let's get started. The Crow the crow is the first creature you interact with and the only friendly creature in the game. After waking the pumpkin up, it walks you through a quick tutorial and warns you about an incoming monster. For the rest of the game, every 20 to 30 seconds, the crow will drop a random item, being a stick, leaves, or coins. You can sell all of these items at the table saw near your house. Additionally, you can use sticks and leaves to craft a fishing pole, which I'll explain later. The Skinwalker The Skinwalker is the second creature you meet and the first hostile monster. It spawns one minute after the crow's tutorial is finished and every three to four minutes for the rest of the game. You will know when it's about to spawn when you hear this violin plucking sound. Once spawned and after a brief delay, the skinwalker will then hunt the player for 45 seconds anywhere on the map besides the house. This is the only place you're safe. Once the skinwalker is done hunting, you will hear this sound. The skinwalker will still be on the map briefly but will not hunt you and you are safe to go back to farming. The clowns. The clowns spawn once every night. You can hear them spawn by listening for a music box. Once the music box is playing, you have 40 seconds to find them, which is done by listening to where the music is coming from. The first clown, the red clown, will have a balloon for you. All you have to do is take this balloon before the clown despawns. The second clown, blue, spawns 40 seconds after the red clown leaves. You will again have 40 more seconds after the music box begins playing to find it. All you need to do for this clown is give it the balloon you're carrying. If you don't give it the balloon, it will hunt and kill you. There is no safe spot on the map when this happens, not even in the house. The Wendigo. The Wendigo appears after the first night and persists for the rest of the game. It takes the form of a pleasant deer as it slowly moves towards the player, stopping every 60 seconds to graze for 30 seconds. If the player gets too close, the deer will transform into the deadly Wendigo, which has high movement speed. If it reaches you, it will kill you. You are safe in the house from the Wendigo and you can use this to move the deer if it's camping your door. The Wendigo will revert back to deer farm 8 seconds after being enraged. The Ghost The Ghost is the only creature besides the clown that can kill you in the house. However, it cannot leave the house. Its sole purpose is to prevent players from camping in the house for too long. After 20 seconds of the player being inside, a candle next to the bed will be blown out. After all three of these candles are blown out, the ghost will spawn and hunt the player in the house for 30 seconds. The Well Monster The Well Monster doesn't do anything. Fishing I know the fish aren't really a creature, but I did mention the sticks and leaves earlier, so I wanted to touch on these. Fishing is another way to earn coins. It's done by crafting the fishing pole at the dock. To craft, you'll need 8 sticks and 6 leaves. Once crafted, you can cast your line and after 40 seconds, a fish, or occasionally a worthless tire will be caught. The fish are sold automatically for a large amount of coins. That's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you're looking for more Pumpkin Panic tips, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoy indie games, and especially indie horror games, why not subscribe now? We've got plenty of amazing indie game content to binge. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Until next time, take care. In the place.